Hey baseball players and parents, my name is Coach Brooks and in this video I'm going to talk about why I believe the way most baseball players and parents spend their time and dollars training for velocity and getting noticed is completely backwards and what I think is a much better way to make it happen. This is our facility uh, in Milwaukee, 13,000 square feet, where we've trained everyone from little leaguers to big leaguers and everyone in between. And what we've kind of become known for, and this is probably the way you or your son became acquainted with, with us initially, was by seeing one of our progress videos on social media. And here's an example of one of them. This is our athlete, Colin. He went from 82 to 95 over the course of eight months. Uh, his exit velocity went from 81 to 91. And then he received a Division I uh, scholarship offer t uh, less than 12 months after starting with us, after being previously completely unrecruited and off the recruiting radar. Now, these athletes and Colin were following something that we call the peer of results, which explains why these results happen. Now, quite simply, these, this shows where our results come from and how much they impact, how much each level impacts the progress an athlete can make. Now, while this can, of course, vary uh, based on age and experience, we believe that, generally speaking, adding in mechanical hacks can improve your velocity by two to five miles per hour, a throwing and hitting program by five miles per hour, and the right strength training program by 10 plus miles an hour. But if you want to know the true reason for why these incredible results are happening when you see those videos, it's because of the baseball-specific strength training program. I'm going to promise I'll back it up in a second. Now, um, let's get into it. So um, I'm gonna start really quick by saying something I think that would have terrified me a few years ago, and that's, I'm just gonna get real with athletes for a second, because I think that I made a decision that if I truly care about each one of our athletes, I'll tell them what they need to hear to reach their goals, not just what they wanna hear, even if those two things are at odds. Now, here's what you're looking at. This basically is a trajectory graph. This shows you, based on your current numbers, what trajectory you're on. This is based on us compiling years of showcase data. So for example, the average Division I uh, uh, baseball player, when they were a sophomore high school, they had an 87.4 mile per hour exit velocity. The average pitcher who becomes Division I was throwing 84.5 when they were a sophomore. And the average Division II pitcher was throwing 82.4. So of course, this isn't a perfect science, but this shows you guys, for almost all baseball players, there's a gap between where you are and where you want to be, right? And this is the same way that it was for me when I was a youth athlete. The problem here is that uh, most people would look at our results and they would think that the reason why someone like Colin went from 82 to 95 and then committed was because of a throwing program. And that was my fault for not explaining what the true reason for these results were. It was actually a baseball specific strength training program. And that's what leads me into my main point. For 99% of high school and youth baseball players, their problem is not a lack of exposure or good mechanics. It's actually a lack of velocity that's caused by a lack of strength. And the reason why I'm so passionate about this is because I honestly think that what has the greatest impact on high school and youth baseball players reaching their goals gets prioritized the least with their dollars and time. Colin, who you saw a few slides ago, did not even touch a baseball with us for his first seven of eight months. And he had already gone from 80 to 92 miles an hour just by strength training the right way. And again, why I'm so impassioned about this is because it's typically the last thing that gets prioritized when it comes to baseball expenses. Most baseball players and families are spending between ten dollars and $15,000 per year on travel, team fees, lessons, right? Um, and they neglect the main thing that's holding them back when they see a gap between their ability and what their ambition is. When you think about that chart I just showed you a second ago, if you currently throw 76 across the infield and you're a sophomore and your goal is to be a Division One infielder, you have a six to eight mile per hour gap between where you are now and where you want to be. And none of the stuff you're seeing here truly Truly is what's going to help you close that gap for most baseball players other than an actual strength training program. And so what makes our strength training program so unique? And this starts back from when I was uh, uh, in college myself. We went through a winter weightlifting program right, where I played college baseball at a school called UW Lacrosse in Wisconsin. And we had you know, a bench press, back squat, hand clean, power clean. And when we tested our numbers after going through that training program, my 60 yard dash got worse from a 6.6 to a 6.8 and my vertical jump got, got less, less high from 31 to 28. And I added 15 pounds of muscle and I was sitting here thinking, what's the point here, right? I got more I got less explosive. Sure, I gained 15 pounds, but I got less explosive, right? It didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. And so I started thinking about the way baseball players move. So I want you guys to think to yourselves, is the athlete moving on one leg or two? and in a linear sense or lateral plane? So linear versus lateral and one leg versus two. We got Javi Baez and Mike Trout. Christian Yelich and, and, uh, and Bellinger. And then Scherzer. You guys are starting to see a trend? Baseball is a one leg lateral push sport characterized by a rotational twist afterwards. Lateral push, then rotational twist. And I thought back to my old workout program. Every single thing, bench press, back squat, hand clean, power clean, was on two legs and in the linear plane. So it made sense that if I didn't train the way baseball players are supposed to train, I was, I was gonna lose some of my ability and not achieve my ultimate goal of unlocking my baseball potential, right? And so I started training differently. And this is where I am now. And I show you this not to brag, but to show you what's possible when you train the right way. 98 miles an hour in a pull down and now 101 miles per hour on the exit velocity test. When I was in high school, I was in the low, I was in the high 70s and low 80s in both of those tests. And by training the right way, I'm now approaching triple digits for both, right? So, um, 
That's not just me saying it, right? It's also college coaches saying it. Matt Hobbs, Arkansas, spend your money on training first. The biggest thing we see is kids showcasing themselves before they're ready to be showcased. Showcased. I think you'd be better off spending your money on becoming a better, better baseball player first. And this is exactly why we created the Baseball Development Secrets program, right? Which includes baseball specific strength training and also a free velocity throwing program. So this is all accessible on our BRX mobile app. Nine off season and three in season programs. There's three separate versions of those programs. One for advanced athletes who are 16 or older, another for beginning athletes who are in that 13 to 15 age range, and then also one that doesn't involve many weights for youth athletes that we have between, we have athletes between nine and 12 using the youth version of our program. Now here's how an athlete executes their program. It's pretty simple. They download our BRX mobile app once you get on our program. You open the app and then you click the menu bar in the very top left of your screen. You click <clears throat> plan, uh, sorry, groups, excuse me. Click groups and you click baseball development secret system. You scroll down, you change where it says activity on the drop down, you change that to plans. And then you choose whatever age you are, you'll choose that particular plan. So I'm gonna choose the advanced program here, month one. I click view plan, I click week one, week one, day one. I'm sorry, week one, day three in this particular example. This would be the order of your week one, day three workout. About 20 drills in all, and this literally takes you through step A, my, my warm up all the way to Z when I finish my workout. And this is basically the video database that's included with every single drill in the program. So when you see two sets of six per leg, Bulgarian split squat, this is exactly how you know how to do the drill and how to know what common mistakes to watch out for, this and that. that so that basically is, is the video tutorial database that is accompanied uh, by the actual program itself. When you wanna log and keep track of your progress and weights, you click log on the top right, you go down to your particular drill on the actual day that you're currently on, and you just type in your weight. It's as simple as that. So that's pretty much, in a nutshell, how the BRX app works and how you follow your routine. The program works on strength, speed and agility, flexibility, rotational power, core, arm care, everything a baseball player needs to improve their abilities. And make no mistake, when you see our progress videos, this is the main reason why those are happening, the baseball-specific strength training program. So if you're interested in trying out the program, we wanted to make it as low risk as possible to give it a try, and so we offer a seven-day completely free trial, unrestricted access to both our at-home and standard versions of all levels of the program totally free for seven days. Now, a card is required by the software we use for our mobile app so that billing can go through seamlessly on day eight if you decide to stay on. But if you cancel before those seven days, you don't pay a dime. So four big steps to get started. Step number one, complete the information on this particular page. Step two, you will be automatically redirected to our mobile app where you will create your username and password. Step three, after making your username and password, you will punch in a card that will be used if you decide to stay on. But again, that won't happen until day eight. Step four, after finalizing your account, you're gonna receive an email that shows how to get up and running with the first workout with an account walkthrough video. So regardless, I appreciate your time. I can't wait to help you guys reach your baseball goals. See you on the other side.